So, looks like they call you the false shepherd. And you the lamb. Let's not call each other that. Suits me. How do you figure they'd know you'd be coming? Either they've got a prophet on their side. Har har. Or them that hired me also wrote the signs. Why? Got me. what the doctor ordered. You all right? I want to see Paris. I want to see everything. It's up to you now. There's no one... Wait, what is that? 40 North by 74 West. That's not Paris, that's New York. How did you know that? One thing I had in that tower was time, Mr. DeWitt. Time to study things like geography. I owed money. And there's a fellow who... He offered to wipe away my debt in exchange for you. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Everything's gonna be okay. Will you just turn around and talk to me and we can... <laughs> Fresh air did the trick. This one's awake. So you're this false shepherd we've been hearing so much about. Caused a mess of trouble at the raffle. You Fitzroy? Nothing but. I got no quarrel with you or your Vox Populi. This is my airship you're hanging me out of, and I got perilous need of it. Really? Cause it sure look like old Comstock's airship to Listen, me. I ain't looking for a fight. There's already a fight to wit. Only question is, which side you on? Comstock is the god of the white man, the rich man, the pitiless man. But if you believe in common folk, then join the Vox. If you believe in the righteous folk, then join the Vox. I just my ship. And the Vox shall give her to you. But first, you must help the Vox. Down in Finkton, there's a gunsmith who can supply weapons to our cause. Get our guns from him, and you shall have your ship back. Better find Elizabeth before she lights out of here. The most common complaint I hear from the working men is that they are unhappy with their lot. By the man? Flying squad came in to get Samuel always thought that the pew on Sunday went hand in hand with the desk on Monday. Science is the slow revelation of God's blueprint. After two years in the last tower on Monument Island, he 
ill with cancer of the stomach. I prayed to the prophet, and the prophet delivered unto us a miracle through his servant, Fink. I do not know if I will ever get used to a husband bound in a skeleton of metal, but better a handyman than a dead one. and a traitor. I know the men who died in the Hall of Heroes with Captain Slate. There is no shame to be counted in their number. The shame lies to we who assembled outside the Hall. Though we were not the ones who fell, I feel only envy for those who perished under his banner. Collector Shaw. That's 
to. Won't you be quiet? Hello? Say your prayers.
slipping! Do not attempt to follow me, Mr. DeWitt! Elizabeth, I've made an arrangement to get our airship back! You can get us out of here! Yes! I just need to supply enough weapons to arm an entire uprising. And where will we get these weapons? From one of our many friends and allies? A gunsmith in Finkton should be a walk in the park. What do you say, partners? You're a liar, Mr. DeWitt. And a thug. But you're also my only means of reaching Paris. <laughs> Don't get too comfortable with my company, Mr. DeWitt. You are a monster and a trickster. No more. They live to stir up trouble. Need some help with this. Oh, beware the hyena. They will leave you with naught but the sound of their laughter. All done. Be your gunsmith. Who sent you to find this person? Daisy Fitzroy. She's either a great hero or the worst of scoundrels, depending on who's doing the telling. She's good for an airship. I don't care if she's the Queen of Holland. You need money? We have 16 hours a day. No, let's be clear. I would like nothing more than to shorten your work day. But the fact is, I simply can't. Why not, you ask? Well, I can sum it up for you in one word. Morality. You see, my friends, the idle hand is the tool of the devil. You take industry from a man's hand, and what goes in its place? Whiskey, whiskey, and the dice. And I, for one, will not have that in our friendly little town. No, sir. I will not. we going to get into Finkton? Illegally. Let's look for another way in. Got a lock. Needs picking. Got it. Over there. A service elevator. It should take us down to Finkton. And get ourselves killed in the bargain. <laughs> Vengeance! Great!
tough guy. Gunsmith Chen Lin, one from known connections to the outlaw Daisy Fitzroy. Looks like our guy's drawn attention. That's not good, is it? No. Ready. Found some money. It's Slate's locker. He must have worked here. Uh, this is my mother's diary. Why would Slate have it? My husband claims the child was created from whole cloth by divine will. I am a believer, but I am not a fool. His bastard shall not be raised under this roof. She had me locked in the hotel. Elizabeth. I just want to get out of this city. Please. The truth is, I don't have a lot of time for all that prophecy nonsense. I tell you, belief is, is just a commodity. Old Comstock, well, he does produce, but like any tradesman, he's obliged to barter his product for the earthly ores. You see, one does not raise a barn on song alone. Oh, no, sir. Uh, that's fink timber, a fink hammer, and fink's hand to swing it. <laughs> He needs me, lest he soil his own. Jeremiah Fick, and I want to share with you my personal creed. What is the most admirable creature on God's green earth? Why, it's the bee! Have you ever seen a bee on vacation? Have you ever seen a bee take a sick day? Well, my friends, the answer is no. So I say, be the bee! Be the bee! Hello? Mr. DeWitt? Uh, yes? Hold for Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? DeWitt, Fink here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you right now that you are our top candidate. Top! <laughs> now, uh, 
My associate, Mr. Flambeau, will help you with anything you need. <laughs> what the hell was that? I have no idea. He seems oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. Well, the man's got an ego. some shady establishment. You see, the Fink Company store brings you Fink products at a price designed specifically for the Fink worker. <laughs> <laughs> 